I think of heterosexuality as being unnatural because it's taking all the possibilities of nature and saying, actually, you can only do this one thing. The garden just is queer. Plants demonstrate and actually have scientific classifications for pretty much an infinite in number of genders and also sexualities. I don't just dream of avocados, I am an avocado. You do learn it in the garden because we wouldn't have fruit without sex and we wouldn't have all of these plants if, if there wasn't sexual relationships happening. Down, down, down we go. Colonialism as people of color has taught us to question our own environmental knowledge, our own ecological knowledge, to doubt our traditional food ways. It's also influenced what we think of natural and unnatural in regards to homo and heterosexuality. Queerness is, with its questioning, similar to gardening in that gardening is an interrogative process. We have a dialogue with the earth, with our plants. I see gardening as a form of protest in a society and a culture that devalues a whole lot of your identities. Growing your own food, pretty, pretty important, pretty good way to fight back. Food is where it starts. Food sovereignty, food sustainability, you know, how do we support the land? Because it's not just also nourishing us, we gotta nourish the land. Mm -hmm.